Hey folks, this is Tim Michael with TimMichaelArts.com. Welcome to my speed paint tutorial in how to color eyes. This has been a request from my live stream that you can check out on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at my website TimMichaelArts.com where you can come on, watch me draw live, ask questions, and this was a request from a couple of the people who uh, watch me uh, draw live. They said, how on earth do I color my eyes and uh, if I can give a tutorial on that. So this is that tutorial and if you want the full advanced tutorial, this is the basics, uh, you can go to uh, my website to michaelarts.com, scroll down a little bit and you'll see the draw too much sketch lessons tab and in there I have a tutorial for you guys that you can watch. It's a full one hour and 15 minute tutorial and uh, you're welcome to get that and uh, hopefully enjoy it. It's downloadable to your computer. You can save it on any devices that you want. Uh, it's small enough to even put it on your iPad, iPod, you know, any kind of Android device, whatever you want. And um, just what we have here right now is I'm going ahead and doing all the main colors and I've already put on their masks and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a hard brush with opacities and I'm uh, going to go ahead and just start putting in some of these uh, uh, these color tones. Um, you can do an anatomy study and take a look at some shadows um, on people's eyes and you can see uh, pretty clearly some of the shadows that I'm working on here. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on the highlights and low lights here. I want to cover more about the inside of the eye than I do the outside. So this is just in preparation for the inside of the eye. So um, when I shade, when I work on shadows and highlights, I'll make a block of color and I will only affect the inside of the block of that color, leaving a bit of that color still showing on the outside. That way it's a nice, almost gradient um, transition from the light to the dark instead of a hard shadow. And uh, right here I am doing some hard highlights. That way it just pops out a little bit. You can see that that looks like there's a little bit of fat in the upper eyelid, which looks really good with this piece. Now we're going to go ahead and start working on the iris and pupil. I'm going to start with, um, since I like um, using this color for my villains and such, um, using my oranges and yellows just to do this uh, this dark um, kind of eye. And uh, just showing you guys here how I go about working on the shadows. Um, putting a lot of shadow at the top of the eye because of the, um, the eyelashes that are there. And then we're going to put in some of the yellow, which is going to pull out. Um, some more highlights and really just make it pop and make it shine a little bit, make it glisten. And um, and then I'm just going to go a little bit with highlights. I really don't want to touch it up too much because if I do too much then it's going to negate that big highlight uh, light that you see there in the pupil itself. Um, I really want to make sure that that is the main light that is being shown on the eye as I'm shading it here in just a second as we get to the white of the eye. Now with the white of the eye, I don't want it perfectly white. I want it kind of like an off blue-gray. And the reason why is I want that any highlights that I put in, I want them to stand out. I want that pure white to really be a pure white and I don't want anything else in the face to show that pure white except for those highlights. So we're doing the light blue-gray. Now I'm going to go a little bit darker because I want it to look circular. I don't. I want it to look more like a sphere and much less than just like a flat piece of paper or whatever. So you can see I'm shading around the outsides, keeping in mind the eyelashes and things like that. I want to make sure that's all nice and dark. And I'm just going in a little bit at a time. I'm still using my hard brush. I use my hard brush throughout this whole tutorial and just hardening, it, hardening in those edges. Now I'm going to start working on the highlights on the inside of the eye, which is going to make the inside pop out, which should hopefully make it look nice and rounded like a ball and really give it that um, that rounded tone that we're trying to capture that everyone is requesting me to teach. So after that, it's just a matter of hardening up some of the shadows and um, and highlights to make sure that it looks nice and smooth. Um, throughout this whole tutorial, like I said, I'm not using any kind of airbrushes or anything. I do use airbrushes in the full tutorial. This is uh, part four of five parts in the tutorial that you can get on my website. And uh, this is just covering, like I said, just the basics. And in uh, some of the other parts, we talk about how to draw eyes. We talk about how to shade eyes. Uh, also talk about how to do um, uh, just all the all the little all the little uh, techniques that you need to know in drawing eyes, including knowing how to get the get that 3D shape out of them, um, even before they go into the socket of of a person's face. 
you'd be able to draw um, the eye as a sphere ahead of time before you even get into it. And then also what you're seeing me do here is I'm applying some highlights so it looks more shiny. And then um, I told uh, the, everyone in the tutorial I wanted to show them how I did, um, how, what would happen if someone was like looking at a window or something. And so that is what's going in here. It's kind of like a four four pane glass window uh, that would be reflecting off of this person's eye from the light that would be coming from outside. Including a little uh, highlight strip on the top of the eye just to make it pop a little bit. And uh, that is about it for our tutorial here. And uh, you can make sure to check out the full tutorial, the advanced tutorial, at timmichaelarts.com. In the Draw Too Much Sketch Lessons tab, you can scroll down there on the main page and you'll see that. And uh, also make sure that you check out um, all the other lessons that I have in there, all the other tutorials. And uh, that's about it. You can join me on my live stream on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, at timmichaelarts.com and watch me draw live. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. Take care, God bless, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.